Yeah, a little bit about us. Um, I spend half my time working for uh, a real estate investment company, which is who we built the trailer for. Uh, we primarily buy real estate and build stuff on it and uh, maintain it as rentals or whatnot. And in the process of doing that, we, we pretty much do everything. Um, so that's why we have a fairly diverse uh, set of tools in the trailer um, When we're not doing that we end up doing a lot of maintenance work and so We sometimes have to repair carpets and plumbing and whatever else so that's We have a little bit different focus than Ron and maybe some of the other some of the other people who Build these type of trailers so just thought you might want a little background on that scene so. Okay, here's a little bit more detailed tour of our trailer that is a work, definite work in progress. Um, we found these magnetic strips over at Harbor Freight and they seem to work really well. We haven't had anything fall off of there yet. In the drawers we have put various things in. We really don't know where everything goes yet. But we did find these uh, train liners, drawer liners from Harbor Freight that seem to fit the drawer perfectly. So we keep our pencils, screwdrivers, that sort of thing. We got uh, air chucks and some zip ties, uh, drill bits. Bottom drawer, it's got caulk in and caulk guns in it, but we need to uh, work it over again because it doesn't like to slide in and out. And we started putting sockets in here. We're not quite sure what we're going to do with that yet. And our drawer tape. And chisels, that sort of thing. So on and so forth. We uh, have a bin here for our charged batteries and one for our uncharged batteries and that's where our battery chargers go and we got the little cubbies for the drills and then up here we've got these bins for screws and stuff and they just set there with that block of wood keeps them from falling off uh, down below there, we have a space where we normally keep our uh, gas-powered chop saw. We've done the reels, uh, pretty much the same as Ron's. Um, this is our uh, current compressor, and it just sets there, and it's not fastened on anything. It doesn't seem to go anywhere. And that allows us to take it with us if we need to. Uh, the shovel rack needs some work. Uh, it doesn't quite do what it needs to do. And we keep the uh, power miter box there. And down below we've got a slide out drawer with dowels that holds our saw blades for our various saws. And the vacuum lives down there. We've got a couple of collapsible saw horses and our laser level there. And cords and air hose there. These are work lights. Um, we've got a ladder up here and it's just held in place by two little blocks, one on each end. It keeps it from sliding off there. We do have plans for a total station but that we originally planned to put up there, but somewhere along the line we screw up the dimensions so it won't fit up there. Uh, the bins have various things in. We keep electrical junk in that one and not sure what's in that one yet. But keep our painting supplies there. Plumbing tools, carpet tools, uh, taping tools, and some tarps tile tools, 
and the rest of the bins really haven't got anything in them yet. We installed these three LED lights that fit perfectly in between this piece of Luon that we screwed to the bottom of the roof rafters and they just sandwiched real nicely in between the original um, reinforcing for the roof and that Luon. Uh, we got three of them in here, makes it nice and bright. And they are, they come on when they're, when we uh, plug the trailer into the high voltage circuit. The shelves that the uh, tubs are on all have a lip on the front so they can't slide out. The little show, the little tubs over here work pretty much the same way. Just got to lift them up to pull them out. And it keeps them from floating around. And like I said, it's a work in progress. Long ways from being finished.